Okay, for the first one, is this the right university? Okay, so I give you to I let you know about the overview about the University Tanaga National. So University Tanaga National Uni Tan is a unique global energy university providing academic program within our two campuses. So we have Putrajaya campus and we have Sudan Haji Ahmad Shah campus Pahang. Uh, how why this university is unique? Because we are one of the four government-linked universities in Malaysia, uh, wholly owned subsidiary by Tanaga National Bahad. So I believe all of you know that about what is Tanaga National Bahad. It's the largest electricity utility in the country. Yeah. So this is our two campuses. We have our main campus, Pujajaya campus, uh, where it's 483 acres. Okay, and our branch campus is Sudan Haji Ahmad Shah is 168 acres. So definitely we have our different uh, specialized program offered in the respect, respective campus. So for the main campus, okay, is this Putrajaya campus. Okay, is it 42 kilometers uh, away from Kuala Lumpur, uh, KLA airport and 40 minutes from Kuala Lumpur city. So it's a vibrant campus. This is main campus is fully gated campus. The facilities, the lab, the lecture rooms are all into the campus. Our branch campus, uh, Sudan Haji Ahmad Shah campus, is 168 acres. Um, it is 140 kilometers away from Kuala, uh, Kuantan City and 214 kilometers from Kuala Lumpur City. So this is uh, this campus is offering all our business program for undergraduates, including accounting, finance. Uh, business administration, international business, and etc. So these are the program that we, we offer in Uniten. We are actually focused about four big areas. We have engineering, economics and economics and energy, computer science, information technology, accounting, finance, business administration. So for uh, we offered the program from the foundations to the diploma, bachelor, and master and PhD. So this is actually the overview about our engineering, uh, about our unit science program. Okay. So a lot of, uh, of you, the parents and the students are actually to, uh, I mean, a lot of SBM labor are, are waiting uh, to choose which university for your, uh, to further study. So I, I'm telling you there have two ways for the for, uh, studying from the SPM level. It can be start from diploma, where you form five with minimum three credits. You can actually to go for diploma is about two and a half years. Then you can graduate. So after complete uh, completed your diploma, you can actually to proceed to your bachelor program. This is actually the three years program. Okay, it's actually a three years program for uh, engineering and accounting which uh, completed your diploma or two years uh, for the information, computer science, and also uh, business and accounting. Okay, sorry, accounting is three years. So this is actually the pathway, pathway. If you are from the SPM, you choose the pathway to go to diploma first, then you, you can actually to proceed with bachelor with one year exemptions, okay? Or the second pathway is, is uh, a common one where Form five labor, they will choose to take one year foundations, then they proceed to the bachelor program. So it is actually a four year studies for engineering and accounting, and three years for information technology, computer science, business, and economics. Yeah, so you may consider about these two ways. So do you know that Actually, Unitan is also ranked number one in the world by the US News and World Report. This is actually the uh, in the category of the top uh, one uh, in, in the world with the percentage of highly cited people among the uh, engineering area. Yeah. And for the Times Education ranking, okay, uh, uh, Times Higher Education World University ranking. So for our engineering and technology, we are actually uh, uh, ranked 400 to 500 in the world and number five in Malaysia. Yeah, for the computer science is about top 600. 
So this is actually um, uh, all the recognitions. Besides of Times Higher Education, we also have QS. Uh, we also recognize uh, rank under the QS uh, World University Ranking. So this all information, you can actually go to our website to, 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 to look this all. So we also the uh, 162 under the um, Emerging Economics University Rankings. This ranking is actually measured using the four indicator, teaching, our teaching, research, knowledge transfer, and international outlook. So this, this all. So is that the right university that you are actually thinking right now? With all our programs, our, 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 our how to say, environments and the location. And now we proceed to the question two. Are the programs recognized? This is very important because a lot of parents, a lot of students will be actually to ask this question during the exhibitions. Is the program recognized? The main thing I'm going to tell you this, the, our program, all the program is accredited by MQA and MQA is Malaysian Qualification Agency. This is very important. You know why? Because the programs without recognized by MQA, meaning that it is, uh, it is difficult for you to further to seek for career or further study in Malaysia, okay? That's why you have to ensure that the program must be recognized at least by MQA. And this is approved by Ministry of Education. Okay, besides of, uh, the local recognitions, for the engineering sector, okay, we have our professional bodies recognitions. For example, ICE, Institutions of Civil Engineers, Okay, for civil engineering, IET, Institution of Engineering and Technology, Institutions of Mechanicals, IMAC, Institution of Mechanical Engineers. These are all accreditation body uh, from the UK. Okay, and definitely our program, uh, engineering program, the four years program is, is recognized by BEM, both of Engineer Malaysia. Yeah, and it is also under the, I mean, recognized under the Washington Accord. Yeah. So next is accounting. These are the professional bodies recognized by our accounting. We have CPA Australia. We have also ACCA. For those who are, uh, I mean, for those students uh, here today, if you plan to proceed of ACCA, I mean, sorry, you plan to proceed for accounting, okay? Uh, after complete your four years accounting, it will be actually to get exemption of nine paper ACCA. So after that, you just proceed with the additional paper, then you can become a chartered accountant. Yeah, and our, uh, and our accounting program is also uh, recognized under the CPA Malaysia and also Malaysia Institute of Accountants, MIA. Yeah, for an IT uh, perspective, we are also recognized, we also have uh, professionals, uh, body like Cisco, uh, CCNA and this all. So number three, how relevant with the industry, okay? So whatever that you study, that definitely must be relevant to the industry. If not, you cannot apply for a skill. So in order for us to be ensure our program is suited to the industry, uh, we, all, we have our industry advisory panel, okay? Which means uh, we actually to invite the industry experts to come to the university to discuss and share on what is their needs currently in the industry. And this has come to, these are all um, where our alumni is, okay? Including the local and the international. Okay, you can see this all. So next, number four, opportunity to go overseas. Okay, people will ask, uh, probably do we have a training program? Do we have any three plus one, two plus two, and so on? I will just tell you that, uh, we have one special program in Unit 10 for all our local and international students, which is we call it as 360 Gen uh, Mobility, which is Global Exchange and Mobility. And this will actually to give you an opportunity to study abroad or maybe to have student exchange to different country uh, during uh, your degree times, okay? And because we sign up uh, uh, MOU, Memor uh, Memorandum of Understanding with all uh, our university partners around the world. 
So you can see we have like in Turkey, we have in UAE, we have in Kazakhstan, all the area like Middle Eastern, Central Asia, Southeast Asia, China, and, and Europe and US. Yeah. So uh, with this, right, if you are in the bachelor's, I mean, you are in the uh, undergraduate, the bachelor, so you can go to find our, I mean, you can go to our international office and they have some application because it is, term, uh, it is required some written test and interview. Then we will send your application to our partner university, then they will offer you. Okay. In some certain university, uh, in some certain university uh, that you choose for which one you want to go, uh, whether you go there for, to, for study or you go there for cultural visit. Number five, signatures program for futures. Okay. These are our new program. As mentioned, our four area focus, right? Engineering, computer science, IT, business accounting, uh, and one more is economics in energy. Okay, this is our uh, brand new program. And uh, this program uh, is offered in our main campus. Yeah, you want to know more about this, you can visit our website. They have our, uh, these, how to say, the core descriptions, and also they have, they have the career prospects for you to review on that, okay? Number six, will the students get a job after study? Okay, so this is also very important, right? So people say that I'm study for about like three years or four years. How easily can I get a job? Will the pay good or not? Okay, so I'm going to tell you that. 94% of Unitan students secured a job within six months of graduations. Yeah, so this is not to this is not mean that six percent of Unitan student is jobless. However, the six percent, the rest of continues, uh, the, the rest of the six percent, they choose to continue further study or become uh, an entrepreneur. They they manage their own business. Yeah. So how uh, in Unitan, right? In in a year times, we have two times of career fair, okay? Organized by our career unit in the university. So whenever the times that we organize this career fair, we will invite all the companies in Malaysia, okay? To visit, I mean, to, to set a booth in our campus and our students who are in, I mean, who are in final years, they can send their resume and they will have a spot, I mean, they will have a interview on the spot by the company. In some certain lucky uh, students who, who are lucky, uh, they can get the, how to say, the pre-offer, pre-offer, yeah, okay? So this, this is how, this is how we, 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 we help the students, yeah. And for those students, uh, all the undergraduate program have to proceed with the industrial training, okay? For the industrial training, so we have our specific portal for the student, they can choose their programs. I mean, they can choose their company and send their cover letter to seek for the placement for their uh, industrial training. And our parent company, Tanaga National Baha TMB, is offering industrial training to all our students who, who, who wanted to, to, to have a uh, working experience over there during that in industrial visit, uh, sorry, uh, internship, sorry. Okay, next, proceed. Any education fund for students, so very important, right? As we now, uh, as we uh, in this in this timing for the COVID outbreak, so it's a very difficult time. So this is a most common questions. Will there have will there any loan or scholarships offered for students? So, uh, for our local students, it is up to twenty eight education uh, funds is available on our website. But among that, I mean, these are the um, uh, among that these are openings for our next intake for June. Okay, you can actually to go. I mean, the education fund you can choose for PTPTN. You can choose uh, for EPF. Uh, uh, e. Uh, I mean, for the from the EPF fund, and then you can you can go for the um, OCBC. These these are all the scholarships and the and the loans that is available. And also we have our Unitech Sport Excellence Scholarships. So if you are good, I mean, if you are good in sports, 
and you represent the uh, nations. I mean, the Malaysia on your your stage uh, for and you got the award and so on. Then you can actually to 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 further apply for this United Sport Excellence Scholarship two o two o. Yeah. So all the term and conditions you able to uh, uh, retrieve it from our website www.unitan.edu.my. You just go to our scholarship page. Okay. So next. For international student, if you are an international student today, I mean in, in here, so we have we offer the Unitime Global Scholarship uh, to you. So this global scholarship is actually a tuition fees rebate up to uh, four thousand one hundred ringgit. But with term and condition, you must apply because uh, we uh, we have a specific team, the committee team, to fill uh, to 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 assess the applications. Okay. So next. Number eight, benefits to pursue PG st uh, postgraduate studies. Yes, my answer is yes. If you complete for your, right now, uh, if, if you realize, dear uh, parents and students, if you realize right now, bachelor is very common right now. So everyone that their, uh, their education level minimum is bachelor. So in order to upgrade yourself, in order to, to learn more, okay, uh, we are encourage the student to further study. To their master and or even to the PhD, okay, or at least a master. So if you are our alumni, you will enjoy twenty percent discount to to pursue the postgraduate study in Unitan. Yeah. So if you are alumni, you can. Uh, but this also term and condition in the sense of you must be our alumni alumni members. So how to become our alumni members? You can actually to drop us an email, or maybe we can direct you to direct to the person in charge. Yeah. Number nine, how big is the current alumni? Yeah, I will just tell you, Uni 10, we establish, uh, I mean, we up, uh, establish this university uh, to the university level since 1997. So till now, we have almost 23 years of uh, education experience. So throughout these 20, 23 years, we have actually to groom more than 33,000 uni 10 alumni in over 50 countries worldwide yeah so so you can uh, basically uh, most of the industry you will see at least one or two uni 10 alumni yeah so number 10 how is the campus life okay so for the campus life we have our student um uni 10 have more than 50 clubs and society for our students. So throughout this, I just pick some of the activities under my advisory because I'm also one of the advisor for the club and society, okay? So we have uh, uh, our clubs and society have their own training camp, have, uh, they can organize any event like the carnivals or special event in the campus. All the activities is actually supported by our student affairs center, yeah. so. And also like we have the campus visits, okay? Like outbound and inbound. We receive people to visit uh, to our campus and also we bring a student to campus visit or the site visit. And also we have the cultural celebration like Chinese New Year, Hari Raya, Deepawali, so, so an international uh, celebration and so on and so forth, yeah. And we also have the stick performance. Okay, because a students, their talents is not only focused study, but also excellent in their extra curriculum. Okay, including their performance. Some is very talented, is good in singing, good in uh, acting, uh, this all and so on. Yeah. So, after this all well, about the 10 question, most asked question. So if you have any question that you're going to ask, are going to ask us in further, okay? If you're shy to type into the live chat and so on, you can actually contact us by scanning this QR code, or you can drop an email to me, Adrian, L-A-W-Y-F at unitan.edu.my, or to the uh, Mr. Uh, Mr. Iwandi, or Iwandi at unitan.edu.my. So you can just scan this all, yeah. Scan this and we will get it to you or you can drop an email to us. So yeah, this I'm going to end for this presentation.
If you have a mind to upset the status quo with your big ideas for tomorrow's world, then maybe we're just the thing for the genius in you. For starters, every fellow here is brilliant too, hired to rethink how we think and prove that impossible isn't at all. We love their visionary points of view and how they're top tier ideas are helping us to expand what we know and don't know about our world. Working hand in hand, we're out to better the ways energy works for us, to market our inventive ideas and fast track a world that takes care of us all. Responsible entrepreneurship that would rub off on you. You leave our halls of learning wired not just for sensible science, but sustainable business too. A thinker, a breath of fresh air, a game changer, a global visionaire. Primed to keep progress on its toes, the competition on the run, and our planet clean, safe, and secure. But wait, forget the future for now and focus first on making the choice that will trigger the full potential of you. Enroll, and then, maybe tomorrow, the next big thing that rocks our world will be you. Hi, 大家好，我是 Betty， 是国能大学的讲师。呃，这个国能大学呢，它是马来西亚最早的私立大学之一。国能大学，它是受到国内以及国外的这个专业认可。它目前是马来西亚前三名的私立大学。我们为学生提供舒适的住宿和交通，学生可以选择使用校内巴士或电动自行车从校园的一端到另一端。我们也为员工和学生提供无线网络，以便学生可以透过创意来学习，并培养他们终身学习的态度。云尼登非常关心学生的学习环境，我们确保有足够的实验室和设备来进行实验，并有足够的实践经验。国能大学的愿景是成为全球能源领域的领先大学，因此我们所提供的课程都专注于工程、能源、信息技术和商业，并涵盖基础班、文凭班、学士、硕士及博士学位。这些课程纲要都是根据各自领域的专家及顶尖教学人员的建议所设计。我们鼓励学生们参加各类型的比赛，并协助他们创造有利于社会未来发展的条件，也为他们的简历增值。我们与工业有紧密的联系，使学生有更多机会探索及了解现实社会的需求。嗨，大家好，我的名叫沙兹利，我是尤尼登的校友。在尤尼登克沙斯，我参加了很多活动，也学到了很多东西。也让我比较懂得和别人沟通。这里图书馆资源一直不断的更新，而且冷气很冷，它的设备也很齐全。在我的空闲时间，我常常会约朋友一起来到这个二十四小时都开着的图书馆里面，我们会一起看电影或者一起看戏。因为它的网速很快，而且它的环境很舒适。这里不只是可以看戏哦，我们也可以在这里读书或文习功课。在 Uni Ten 有许多运动设施，比如篮球、羽毛球、网球、乒乓球、泳池、划船等都有。我们还有保龄球、射箭、健身、空手道、跆拳道等运动俱乐部。我们还有文化俱乐部，如合唱团、舞蹈、戏剧、乐队等。我们配备了现代和传统乐器，学生们在这里可以真正享受大学生活。Hi, Eden. Thank you. Thanks hello, for the sharing. Hello, CK. Hi, hi. Hello, hello. I'm so sorry for today. For today, technical problems. <laughs> no, no. That's very informative. Very, very good. 
Okay, uh, Adrian, uh, there are a few questions on the Facebook Live now. Uh, uh, perhaps I'll just run through the, those questions and then I'll see whether some of them I, I believe that you can answer. Now, the first question that came in actually, uh, Joyce looks asking for psychology program. I don't think Unitan offers psychology program. Am I right? Uh, yes, Do you we offer don't psychology? have psychology. Yeah, yeah. because the, the Tanaga is dealing with all the electric. <laughs> okay, so uh, Joyce, <laughs> Joyce Lok, uh, you want to find out for more psychology program. If I'm not mistaken, I think if I'm not mistaken, uh, Segi University do offer a psychology program. Perhaps you want to come back at 2.30, you can ask uh, Dr. Chong uh, directly about the psychology program they offer in Psyche College, if I'm not mistaken, okay? Now, and, and then we have Popo Yan, who is, what are the most popular courses now? Would you like to answer that question, that what's the most popular courses now? Uh, perhaps you can talk on behalf of Unitan, uh, Adrian? Is it yeah. the most popular courses in Unitan or uh, in this industry? <laughs> Uh, Wait, let me. we just talk about Unitan. Just uh, mention. Okay, yes. yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. for for Unitan, just, right? Yeah. Our most popular courses definitely come from the engineering program. Yeah, because we uh we this university is actually started from the engineering institution and is upgraded to the university since nineteen ninety seven. So we have more than twenty three years old and um, under twenty three years in the uh in the technicals like engineering field. Yeah, for us, we have four different major. We have like mechanicals, we have civil, electrical, electronics, and electrical power. Yeah. Okay, all right. So, uh, 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 Popoyan, if let's say uh, you want to know more about uh, uh, the overall the, the industry popular program, I think I did share a little bit just now, but if you want to come back and then can ask our panel discussion later. Now, uh, what are the, uh, there's a person called Jess Katia asking for about scholarships that you mentioned just now. I think uh, maybe she want to yeah. know more detail about the scholarship. Perhaps you can take some time to elaborate a bit further about the scholarship offered by Unitan. Okay, Mr. Iwandi, can you? <laughs> for the, okay. for, for, yeah. Okay, I think maybe we can start first. You want oh, to start okay, first? Okay, for us, right, okay, for me, as I mentioned in earlier for my self-introduction, more handled for international marketing. So for international itself, we have our global scholarship, where it's up to $1,000. For the local, for the local scholarship, I presented is about 28, up to 28 in our, on our website. The more specific, I believe Mr. Irandi can explain more. Yeah. So basically, if you want me to this uh, brief about one by one, the scholarship is too many. So what I can say right now is uh, it's better for you to go for our website. They have a list of scholarship over there, which is we uh, only show the available scholarship and also the link for the term and condition and also the due date uh, for uh, each of the scholarship. But if you still insist to get the further info more information about the scholarship, you can just go directly, contact, uh, contact us, and then I will uh, we will brief you in, in a detail about the scholarship. So yeah. basically, what, 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 what we can uh, mention here is uh, you can go for the, the most the most and the uh, guarantee that you can get is the PTPT and the PTPT and we can say that it, it was a guarantee for the student that you will, you will get the PTPT and. Yeah, just an, another to a bit promote about the local scholarship where uh, we have, uh, I mean, the best scholarship to uh, offer to all the students is our Yayasan Tenaga National. But unfortunately, right now, it's already closed. But yes. for those who are preparing, I mean, who are prepared for our settlement intake, so most probably they will reopen again. But you have to ensure that to go to Yayasan Tenaga National website. And then in that website, we, uh, they have uh, two categories. Uh, uh, sorry, in that three categories. So one is, uh, two is scholarship and one is study loan. The loan is, com yes, correct. The loan is convertible loan. So for Yayasan Tenaga National, they offer two types of scholarship. One is to study abroad and one to study in Malaysia. Yeah, yes. and we have our specific quota for our uni ten. So that's why you can, you can realize in the panel, the Yayasan Tenaga National Scholarship for uni ten. So you if apply that, the very high chances you are getting your scholarship. Yeah, uh, from offer from the Naga National behind. Yeah. Uh, just curious, any criteria for the students that to get the scholarships? Is it standardized or there's a pool of scholarships that been offered to students? Can I know that? Or specific, oh. like let's say certain grade, certain A's in their SPM, they will automatically get the yes, scholarship. Yes, correct. Right. How, how, how is the system? Just curious, yeah? 
Yeah. Okay. So so uh, so so right. Okay. Yeah. If you say Wendy, you can explain. <laughs> okay. So basically, it depends on the program that you want to offer. I mean, uh, the program okay. that you want to apply is sure. is very uh, between the program. But then the idea is the minimum is for the SPM. Yeah, I'm talking about the SPM. The minimum yeah. is six A's, which is your English, and also yeah. math must be A plus. Oh, okay. That's right. the, that, that, that's the overall overall uh, idea about this one. But then. The specific one is depend is a very depend on the program that you want to enroll, yeah. but then the the uh, the basic uh, term and condition is minimum is six A's and the BI must increase and also the mass must be A A plus something. Yeah. Okay, but Thank but you. don't worry because uh, Yayasan Tenaga National right they have a specific system over there. So for the student who apply online, they have actually the calculator over there. So they just need to insert their SPN result, uh, all the subject and the grade. They immediately will tell you whether you are eligible or not. So when when it's appear eligible, then you can proceed with the application. So you just submit all the document and just uh, wait for them for the interview because they have another stage called interview. So for those who are past the interview, then they will get a scholarship. Yeah. Okay. So the, basically there's two stages. One's to check eligibility, which on the system, they will tell you whether you are eligible for which program or not. Because different program, there are different criteria. For engineering, uh, they will more focus about science subjects. Okay. For the uh, IT and business, they, they, they are focused about like language and also mathematics. I, basically, I will tell you mathematics is very important. For those SPM labor here, mathematics is very important. As we, uh, for our university, if you uh, have no credit in mathematics, there is very, very limited uh, uh, program that you can further. So that's why mathematics must be get at least a credit. Okay, uh, there's another next question just came in on Facebook Live. Uh, I'd like to address that is how much is your engineering cost? I'm not sure whether you covered that just now that probably the students just came in. Roughly the range of a tuition fees a year, like how much do you charge in unit 10? Okay, okay, so basically for, for the, uh, okay, I'm, I, I will explain about the local, I mean local students first. Eh? Uh, yeah, of course, yeah, local they, students. <laughs> we are all local, okay. yeah, I think it's local. <laughs> okay, so basically for the foundation program, foundation engineering program, one year program will cost you around 17K, 17K. There's one for the foundation program, and then after that, you will continue for the degree program. Degree program for the engineering will take you for four years, and then it will cost you around 75K, 75K. That one for the local student. Yeah. So a year is for a, less than 20,000 tuition fees, all right? For something like years. that, yeah. yeah. Okay. Yes, yes. All right. Yeah. Uh, so okay. so you can see with the engineering program of 75,000 for four years, and as mm -hmm. compared to just now, whatever that I have presented for the international recognition and so on, I think it's really, really worth and for those students who come. <laughs> Yeah, true, exactly. Now, I think there's a uh, more interesting questions coming. And in fact, I wanted to ask that, but since uh, there's an uh, audience that already uh, wish to know this, I think it's great that whereby, uh, as you all know, that Unitan is belongs to the Naga National Berhad, actually our yep. utility company in Malaysia. And uh, I believe people know the Naga National, but some may not heard about Unitan, to be frank, but of course, we're industry, yeah. we know. Uh, the, the questions come is actually any job opportunity for the students after they being graduated. So to me, Personally, I would think that by going to Unit 10, the Naga National is so big, I think job opportunity is there. So I'm not sure. Just maybe you'd like to share with us that about the, 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 the holding of the mother company that is the Naga National, that what is the job opportunity that the students can work in the Naga National, let's say. Yes. Okay, but you'd like I think, to share with us on that? But logically, yes, because with the Naga, the Naga National and our university industrial linkages, Okay, like for example, uh, the question from Litvina is it there's opportunity? Yeah. Let's say uh, some uh, we also facing a lot of uh, this common question when we go for exhibition when the parents and the student will ask, can I actually uh, am I actually to to absorb by the TNB after I graduate? Okay, the answer is actually the answer is somehow like a high possibility, but not I'm not how to say not directly. In the sense of what, because I mentioned in just some presentation, I mentioned through uh, Unitan students have the chance and opportunity to uh, further their internship in uh, Tanaga National Berhad. So this is actually uh, the TMB offer to us, which means this, if the student they don't want to go to any company to, for internship, they can definitely to get the offer to any branches in uh, Malaysia, TMB branches in Malaysia. So with the if let's say you want to aim to become the future uh, employee for the Tanaga National Berhad. So you can go through this internship 
and you can perform. You can perform. If you're able to perform, the manage, uh, most of our cases for our alumni, like my student, they get absorbed by TMB directly is they did a very excellent job during their internship and is highly recommended by their superior and the supervisor and they send the recommendation letter and they already booked them. So in these cases, they absorb to a TNB, yes. But besides, TNB also have another program called Talent Program. Okay, oh. the talent program is actually for those fresh graduate. They join for the program. They will be assigned to the different departments. They they will uh, the I mean the superior will monitor their performance. For those who who are actually able to perform do, throughout the period, they will direct to us to get a permanent job. Yeah, this is what okay. we can answer because we can answer from the Adrian one. Okay, so basically, uh, if you are the receiver of the scholarship or convertible loan for the Yayasan Tenaga National or YTN you will have a greater chance for you to get a job at the TMB. So it's a good thing for you to apply the Yayasan Dragon National. Even if it was closed right now for the June intake, maybe you can apply for the September intake. So if you the receiver for that one, you will have a greater chance to get a job with the TMB. So the loan light uh, okay. convertible loan, CK, I think you are a bit confused, right? <laughs> the, CK, uh, the, the convertible loan <laughs> is, is somehow like if the uh, student who are having the Results uh, are YTN, uh, YTN loan and with first class yeah. honors, okay, they yeah. will absorb by the TNB or the TNB subsidiary, then they can convert to a scholarship. Which in the loan, they don't need to pay. If they convert oh, to a scholarship, means they will just serve, yes, they will just serve uh, as an employee with TNB or it's subsidiary. So when they come in, the students come in, they just apply for the Yayasan loan. So it's a loan that they have to re to pay back. But once the result is good, they will convert it into a scholarship for that loan. Ah, Am I right? so no, provided. Once it's provided, a good, a good provided, result, yeah, result. provided it is actually absorbed by the TNB, then they will very become good. a scholarship. Yeah. Oh, that's very good. So they don't even have to pay back. Yes. That's excellent, yeah, for some students. That's yes. Really hard. Yeah, very but good. for okay. those who, for those students, uh, I mean, for those students in YTN, uh, they can yeah. actually, I mean, their payback, I mean, the interest is 0% right now. Yeah, but it's actually based on the contract. Yeah. Okay. Well, the student right. have to have to sign up the contract for the loan and scholarship. Okay. All right. Okay. Thank you so much. Now I have another question that just came in. Uh, students and parents need to understand that university, even IPTA, cannot guarantee a job. Of course, I don't think that you guys are guaranteeing a job. This that we are discussing here that because yeah. uh, uh, TA, uh, sorry, Unitan is belongs to uh, <laughs> National. There's a higher chance to get in because of the relationship between the holding. The, the ownership of the, the unity, am I right? We are not here to guarantee any jobs. It's yes. always the students, as I always say that, uh, whether getting a job, it's the students' yeah. performance, their attitude, all these kind of things. Yes. All right? Am I right? Yeah, yeah. I think most importantly is actually their soft skill. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. that's why in uni turn, uh, beside mm -hmm. of academics knowledge, and then we yeah. also have uh, the student enrichment. So which means we will train them the soft skill on how they uh, can perform in their interview, how to write the letter, how to do their resume. These all are actually the soft skill. Yeah. Oh, that's good. That's good. Okay. Now, I'm not sure any questions that are coming in uh, since uh, I don't see any questions from the Facebook Live here. Uh, we have another, say, about maybe another five minutes to wrap up. Uh, perhaps, uh, uh, one day, sorry, I didn't introduce to you earlier, come in just now. Yeah, <laughs> because of the presentations I saw some Facebook. Okay, well, uh, welcome on board into our channel. All right, so uh, perhaps, uh, Iwandi, you just join in. Anything that you want to add on uh, after, before we, we invite another speaker to come in? Yeah. Okay, so basically, uh, based on the what uh, Mr. Adrian already presented earlier, so they have a lot of things, a lot of factors that why you should uh, choose Unit 10, basically. It's very, uh, it's something like this. Uh, there's too many universities out there, but then uh, when you come to choosing the university, you must choose the good one. It's not just for the sake that you are entering the university, right? So I think all the 10 factors that have been presented by Mr. Adrian, is something that yet you can use to be a, a course that you want to further your study at the unit 10. And for the most important thing, if, uh, we cannot cover everything inside here for the, for the 45 minutes session. If you want to ask detail about our program or even our scholarship, about anything, you can just contact us. Mr. Ade already shared the contact, so maybe you can just contact us at any time. I think, so, I think most people, I think most people over here don't worry about the job because just just let you know about me and Mr. Iwandi, also an alumni of Unitan. Oh, that's great! <laughs> oh, wow! Okay, yes, all right. <laughs> the I'm graduate, I'm graduate, yes, all right. I'm graduate computer science, and uh -huh. Mr. Iwandi is uh, marketing, if I'm not mistaken. Yes, marketing. Yeah. 
So whether yeah. whether you will get a job with TMD or under the subsidiary of Unitel or so on, we cannot guarantee, but we are telling you this is the example. Yeah. yeah. Okay, just when study, focus your study, then when whenever after you graduate, and that is the opportunity. Because we rarely receive the complaint from a student saying that they are jobless after graduate. <laughs> Most of them get the job. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. I, I believe both of you must be great because for a university to, to offer you a job to stay on, okay, must be the selected one, okay? For both of you. Congratulations, <laughs> both of you, okay? All right, I, I think, I think uh, before before we end, I think I, I personally have a question, uh, just maybe another minute, just perhaps uh, just to share about, uh, uh, I think some people, sometimes I do hear some students confused about the, the entity of Uni10. Uh, just mm -hmm. to confirm, uh, from both of you, Uni10 is just a private university in Malaysia, but is very unique because it's owned by Tanaga National. So it's not a public institution, it's not a public university. So you want to come into Unit 10, it's not going through the public system the, 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 for the STPM students. So students have to apply directly to Unit 10, okay? But on top of that, your fees is not expensive, frankly speaking, because of the ownerships of Unit 10, okay? So Unit 10 is a private university, am I right? Just to confirm yes, there for those who just came in or uh, who missed your yeah. presentation earlier, okay? Yeah. All right, Unit so is thank you so much. Yeah, anything? <laughs> Yeah. Anything yeah. for and, the and last just, word before before we invite another guest, uh, Iwandi and Mr. Adrian. Any any last word? We have another one minute. Uh, if not, then uh, anything? That's yeah. all from for, the side. for me. Like example, just just mention Uniten is a fully private university, but categorized under Government Link University. So oh. that's why right. if you want to apply, you can direct apply through our website, or we also have an initiative in UPU system. If you go for a UPU system, you are able to see our university over there. You can take over there as well. So there's two oh, ways. Good. Correct or not, Yvonne? Oh, yes. Yeah. For me, it's yeah. nothing much. For me, it's nothing much. Just meet you there for the junior. <laughs> <laughs> <That's good. laughs> so so your, your your university is listed on UPU as well. That's interesting. So you need yeah. that. Ah, oh, okay. Thank you. This yeah. is something that I learned today as well. Okay. <laughs> All right. This so thank you very much. Thanks for head. the sharing. Okay. <laughs> okay Have sure. a good day. Stay safe. Okay. Thank you. Bye. All right. Thank safe. you.